And today I'm going to be going over a pretty cool little trick on the iPhone and the iPad, on the iPod Touch, etc. Um, whatever iDevice you may have, this will work on. What I'm going to be showing you is, if you go into iTunes and you hook your device up and let it sync and do whatever it has to do, every once in a while, I'll zoom in so you guys can see, every once in a while, right down there on the bottom, that other part of whatever you're syncing, you know, you have your photos, you have your apps, uh, you have your music, so on and so forth. Once in a while, that other will get to a large amount. Now, I've heard different radio shows and podcasts, people call in and say, my other part is up to two or three gigs, and this can be the result of many different things. Um, if you save a lot of text files or different things that don't have a specific category in this section, that's where it will come up. But if you aren't saving any text, you don't have any apps or stuff like that that doesn't have a category and you have a say two or three gigs in other, there might be a specific reason and there might be a way to get rid of it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Now if you guys all know, the first time that you sync your device to the computer, it asks you if you would like to send reports to Apple helping them with different kinds of stuff and improving their products and so on and so forth what they do is every single time your phone does something that you know resembles a bad thing for Apple they store information onto your phone until the next time that you sync your device so say you're one of those people who never sync their device but you clicked yes when they ask you the question there's a good chance that there's up to three gigs of information for Apple on your device. So, the way to get rid of that is very simple. You plug your device in. Alright, so you're going to have to plug your device in. And once your device is all plugged in and everything, you're going to go over to where it says the name of your iPad. So I'll zoom in right over there so you guys can see. Alright, so right there where it says Matt's iPad, you're going to want to right click. And you're going to want to reset warnings. So you can go ahead and reset the warnings. So now, the next time that you sync, which I'm going to show you guys right now, it will ask you whether or not you want to send those reports to Apple. So I'm going to unplug my device. And then I'm going to plug my device back in. So now when I go to Matt's iPad, and I press sync, you will see that little sign come up. So I'll zoom in there so you guys can see exactly what it says. You can help Apple improve its products and see user support by having your iPad automatically send information from time to time about how it's working and how you use it. Well, this is what Apple does. They ask you for this and then your device automatically stores tons of information. Well, it's not really tons, but it can become tons. It can become up to three gigs, like I've heard. So, you're going to want to press no. Now, if you don't have um, your whole device filled up, if you don't need this space, you can still press no, but if you want to, you can press OK and allow Apple to do this, especially if you sync every you know couple weeks or every even couple days mostly the information will go down. So when you press this, now Apple won't be sending anything anymore and your device will always be right around 0.25% of one gig. So that's it. That's all I really wanted to show you guys today. Hopefully you guys will find this informational. If you have, uh, you know, tons and tons of stuff on your device and freeing up, you know, even less than a gig will help you, hopefully it will. So that's it. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. And thanks. I'll talk to you guys later.